now i'm here with my next video of numbers now see and this i want to consider few programs of numbers that is see first of all you all know few numbers that are some you know even numbers some odd numbers some positive numbers some negative numbers and when we have to create a program of positive negatives then for positive numbers we are using values greater than 0 positives you can consider equals to 0 also it is neutral but it is positive we can have less than 0 for negatives and for uh, even numbers means divisible by 2 we are using mod 2 equals to equals to 0 to check whether the number is even or odd these kinds of number you all know you are familiar with it now you all know about prime numbers also but when you had started up in maths you are dealing with prime numbers but now we have to create programs of prime numbers also for your kind information prime numbers is the numbers having two factors composite number the numbers those who are having more than two factors and we have one more number that is palindrome number a number whose reverse is equal to that number these are the few numbers i'm considering in this video we have so many kinds of numbers in maths we are going to apply one by one these numbers i'm creating videos for that kind of numbers also we have 50 60 numbers in starting i'm considering only three and i'm going to provide you the concept how we are going to create program for these kinds of numbers now see first of all prime numbers if i'm taking 5 i have to check whether 5 is divisible by 1 2 3 4 and 5 i have to check who is going to divisible divide 5 5 is divisible by how many numbers means how many factors of 5 have 1 in 5 only 2 factors and 6 is having I have to check how many factors 6 is having who is going to divide 6 see 1 2 3 4 is not going to divide 5 is not going to divide then 6 is going to divide means 2 factors for 5 and 2 factors were prime numbers and those who are having 2 and more than 2 then that is composite number how we are going to create a program of prime and composite numbers now see first of all we have to count the number and the factors see here i am using num equals to 5 means here i am checking whether 5 is a prime or a composite number you can place any value here other than 5 you if you want to accept values from the user except in num and place here and you can have logic of primary and composite for any of the numbers now i am taking factors for counting purpose i am taking variable factor for counting see here actually from 1 till number if it is n from 1 till n I have to check from 1 tell the number I have to check who is going to divide a particular number I have to check 1 by 1 means these sort of counting I have to count by using loops that's why I'm using a loop that is for loop because it is fixed I'm starting it from 1 till num increasing it by 1 by 1 and I am checking whether my number is divisible by all these kinds of number or not. If it is divisible, then I am going to count it. How many of the numbers is going to divide my given number? If the factors were 2, I am writing 
number 5 is a prime number. If 5 is not having factors 2, if 5 is having more than factors 2, then it is going to print numbers. Number 5 is a composite number. In this way, you can have your program. You can place this kind of programs wherever you are, where it is needed. Now see, palindrome. How we are going to see palindrome? Palindrome is first of all, a number who, who's having normal and reverse same. 66, normal and reverse same. 100 and 1, normal, reverse, same. 11, normal, reverse, same. Is 13 a palindrome number? Normal it is 13, but reverse it is 31. It is not the palindrome number. Now, how we are going to have a logic for that? See, if I am having a number that is 121, I am placing a logic here by writing this. Means I am taking a variable REV is equals to REV into 10 plus num mod 10 what is num mod 10 num mod 10 is basically used to pick a last digit if a number is 121 i am dividing it with 10 what i am getting 10 ones are 10 here i am getting 21 10 twos are 20 here i am getting 1 this is our question this is our remainder and when I am read, writing num divide by 10 it provides us question that is 12. If I am writing num mod 10 it provides me remainder that is 1. Here I want a remainder part and I am using reverse into 10 plus large digit. Why I am taking this, I will tell you one by one. But first of all, see, REV is having 0. 0 into 10 plus the last digit is 1. We are adding them, we are getting 1. Then, num is equal to num divided by 10. I told you, we are getting questioned here. Now, the value of num is 12. What will happen now? See, now again we have to do the same process. Now num is 12. REV means reverse. Reverse is 1. 1 into 10 plus the last digit. Last digit is 2. 12 contain last digit 2. Now 1 into 2 plus 1 into 10 plus 2. What we are getting? 10 plus 2 that is 12. Now our reverse is 12. Then num is equal to num divided by 10. 12 divided by 10 what we are getting? 1. 1 as quotient. See now what we are getting? Now our num is 1. The same process I am doing for num 1 also. REV into 10 plus num in mod 10 1 mod 10 keep in mind always a smaller digit divided by a larger digit is equals to wait N smaller digit divided by larger digit is always 0 because int divided by int is equals to int only if I am writing 3 divided by 5 it will become 0. Now, if I am writing 3 mod 5, it provides me 3 only. Just keep this thing in your mind. Small this number mod largest number is equals to smallest number. Same way, 1 mod 10 is equals to 
वन ओनली दैट्स वाई वी आर गेटिंग वन ट्वेल्व ऑलरेडी वी आर हैविंग ट्वेल्व इन आर ई वी ट्वेल्व इंटू टेन प्लस वन इट बिकम्स वन ट्वेंटी वन नाम इज इक्वल्स टू नाम डिवाइड बाई टेन वन डिवाइड बाई टेन वी आर गेटिंग जीरो इन दिस वे वी आर रिवर्सिंग आर नंबर वन बाय वन सी वाई आई एम हैविंग दिस लाइन विथ मी फॉर रिवर्सिंग अ डज इट सी इफ आई एम टेकिंग वन टू थ्री एज अ नंबर एन आई वॉन्ट इन रिवर्स थ्री ट्वेंटी वन हाउ आई एम गेटिंग थ्री ट्वेंटी वन First of all, from the last time picking a digit three, I have to multiply three into ten plus two. Then only it becomes thirty-two. Means this part is reversed. See in this way. And when I am multiplying thirty-two with ten plus the last digit, what I am getting three twenty plus one means three twenty one. In this way, I am getting reverse things. Now, see, if I I am have I want to write a logic for this. How I am going to write? I have to write the value of num, then reverse, and I want to create a loop because the same activity we are doing so many times. But how many times? If a number having three digit means three times. If a number having four digit four times. But we don't know how many digits a number is having. That's why I'm taking a loop that is while loop. It is not a fixed loop. That's why I'm preferring while loop. While till the num is equals to zero, I'm doing that. That's why while num is greater than zero, I'm using it. In the same line, I'm placing here this and this. This and this lines. How many times till the num is greater than zero? it is a logic for reversing it and now we have to check whether whatever we are reversing that reverse number is equal to our original number or not we have to check if both of them were same then it is palindrome else it is not this thing we have to do now i am proceeding further with the question how see This is the program of a given question. Now the question is: Write a program in Java to accept one to check number is prime or not, and two to check whether the number is palindrome or not. I am having a series of a palindrome number so that you can identify these are the palindrome numbers. Few prime palindrome numbers are written. Now taking the program, this program, because it is a user defined program, that why. I'm having all these things with me. I'd created a menu. And user provide me one when it user want to check prime, and user provide me two when user want to check palindrome. Means choice we are we are accepting. If choice is one, then we have to place the logic of prime. I told you already what is the logic of prime. we have to accept number we have to check how many factors prime is having a factor is 2 then it is prime if it is not then it is not a prime number then see i am proceeding further if the factor is 2 i told you this we have to break it if user provides me case 2 i have to accept number i have to reverse that number here by placing the logic the same logic i am writing i am Accepting digit here one by one, and then I'm placing digit here and reversing it. And one more thing I had done. See here, m equals to m n. I am writing why m equals to n because with the help of this loop, the value of n becomes in last it becomes zero. And when we are going to check n with the reverse number, it will never say it is a palindrome number because num Number becomes zero. That's why I'm storing that number in somewhere else because this will change. This line will change the value of n. That's why I'm storing the value of n in m already, so that we can have a copy of n in m. 
whatever we are having we are keeping inside m also whenever the number is changed it be firstly it becomes 12 and then it becomes 1 and then it becomes 0 means the value of n becomes 0 but we are having a copy of n in m then we can check it with the reverse number if it is equals to equals to reverse then it is said to be palindrome otherwise it is not it is not a palindrome number and if user provide us any other choice except 1 and 2 if user provide us any of the choice we are saying that it is a wrong choice now see the output if we are having a menu 1 for prime 2 for palindrome user enter 1 i'm providing a number that is 30 30 is a prime number again a menu is provided menu 1 for prime 2 for palindrome i'm providing 2 see a number i'm providing number is a palindrome number again i'm providing a menu in menu in i'm writing 5 now what we are getting you had entered wrong choice in this way you can have your programs so many different different kinds of questions you are having in your book do practice it if you have any problem do consult with me otherwise goodbye and good luck